Hello everybody, GL1 here and welcome to my online toy museum on this Saturday evening. And I'm going to show you something really cool. Not what we're seeing here, although this is cool. But I'm going to introduce you to the Dr. Wu version of Optimus Prime. After we go through explaining this toy, because I think once you understand this toy and how great it is, you'll have an even greater appreciation for what Dr. Wu has created. So this is the original 1985 Optimus Prime set. I wasn't into Transformers back then. I don't remember how I got this, why I got it, um, and why I haven't lost really anything from it in all these years. I've taken really good care of it, and uh, I really only cared about taking care of it since probably something like um, the year 2000. So uh, before that, I think it was just lucky that I didn't lose any of the missiles or anything. So this is our Optimus Prime character, and he is made of plastic and metal. So if you've never, never seen one of these, um, it's got metal feet here. This is metal. And um, the back here is plastic. And then the, the wheels actually are rubber, which you don't get that anymore. You just get hard plastic. And uh, the cab here, this is metal. This flips up. And that opens up. And that's metal. Uh, so, you know, it has some weight to it. Um, what's unique about this Optimus Prime for back then is you didn't have lateral motion in the legs. You did have knees, though. Uh, but more unique uh, than that is that you did have some lateral motion in the shoulders. So that's great. And you also had, um, you could turn the wrists. So that also was nice. Uh, the elbows also would... You can see that it's a little rounded here, so with a little care, you can straighten the arm out, and it's even spring-loaded. There's a little spring inside the joint to help it stay when you put it in position bent like that. It's, uh, this spring actually pushes against a mechanism inside to help it uh, stay in place. The head doesn't turn. I remember always being a little frustrated at that. But uh, really, overall, especially for back then, what a great transformer. I'm going to transform that for you. Um, it always is a little nerve-wracking because of how old the plastic is. And it's always made this creaky noise. And it will end up looking like this. So this is, I don't know, maybe six, seven years old. And um, this does not transform. But what's cool about it is it does have the rubber wheels. And then underneath, can you see that? It has like a little imprinting of Optimus Prime there. So you can see that. Um, all right, well, this Optimus Prime also came with a cab. So, or the trailer, I'm sorry. So here's the trailer. All right, and the front made some uh, lights and sounds. So he would say that. And then make like a laser sound. And then a truck sound. And what's great is you can interrupt the truck, any of the sounds, just by pushing the button. So if you're annoyed at listening to the truck sound, you can just interrupt it. Now you also have this here, as you can see. You have this, uh, you know, sort of fighting mechanism it has uh, missiles here they do not launch out but they are made to be able to be launched out you can see there's a catch here for a spring and there's even a lever here that maybe at one time they were thinking about putting a spring in there and having these work but they don't um, and they actually just kind of go in there kind of tight and uh, i actually have two sets so i didn't lose the other set either which is still also amazing to me and then you have this uh, clamp here. This is for repairing Optimus Prime if, should he get damaged. And then you have, you know, like a satellite link up 
and then this you can see it has a couple of joints and you can move that all around and you have look you have a rotational wheel here so you can move the satellite around and then this has a ball joint in there so pretty cool there all right well I'm going to transform Optimus Prime and uh, actually this also can go out for the base and I will show you that but you see you can give it extra support as a base and this can come off so you can take that off all right and then this is a little vehicle that comes with it this is an extra one and it's a different color but you'll be seeing that soon all right so i'm going to show you how this optimus prime transforms it's pretty easy actually so these are the guns right and they fire so they come out and so they spring in there and they have a lever in the back and there we go push that oh there we go there all right so you push that in and then you push the lever up and there big big uh, missile for that all right so here's how optimus prime transforms so first you can take off the hands Again, how I didn't lose those. Amazing. <laughs> All right, go like that. And then the head rotates all the way around. And the, this turns like that. And then that fits over. And then you take the legs and fold them up. And then when they, when they fold up, you see they're apart? And as they fold up, there's springs inside that push them together. So they spring together, and then they just kind of fit in there. And then you move the feet. You see, this is, these are the feet. And you push them in here. And then you take the hands, and this is so you don't lose them. And you put the hands, store them here. And there you go. You close your cab up. And if you want, you can even stick one of these guns up in the top, all right? And then what you can do is you can see that this has a slot here, actually here. Oh, no, no, I'm sorry, here. And that pegs in there and there. So that's how it looks with its trailer, all right? And you can, of course, put the front on, and it still fits. Okay, and there you go. That fits with the trailer. All right, and if you want, you know, of course, you can throw your extra gun in the back because this opens up back here. So take a look at this. Move this back a little bit. And, uh-oh, we have something in there. And take a look at this. The miniature Dr. Wu Prime in green. Limited edition, right? And you can see it has toes that bend, and it even rotates. It's on a ball joint, so it can rotate a little bit to give it a little bit extra control. You have knees. You have... Uh, shoulders that move all around, elbows, ball joint, go in different directions. You have your Energon axe that can come off, and then that just snaps on onto the hand. And then you have Optimus Prime's gun, and that comes off, and then that can snap on. All right, so like that. And then I'm going to open this up because we're not done with the surprises. Oh, let me take this off here. Get it. You have to take the this noise mechanism off the front in order to open it all the way. Okay. And there we go. And this is the Dr. Wu mini trailer that comes with 
the Optimus Prime that transforms into the tractor portion. So tractor trailer. All right. And you see so you have little doors that open in the back. But not just that. It all opens up. Just like the big one. And inside you have a little vehicle. Let me show you this. These are the extra missiles I didn't lose. All right, so, and take a look at how similar they are. All right, so it's like a four-seater. All right, six-wheel. And so that can go in the, tra the trailer. And then you have these little mechanical arms, again, to help work on Optimus Prime. And this might be more suited to where sometimes the trailer portions with Optimus Prime are like this, okay? And then Optimus Prime, instead of it being horizontal when he needs repair, he stands inside the repair station like that, you see? And then there's like the little robotic arms that you can pretend are, are you know, working on, on repairing uh, him from damage. So, and you can see here's the Dr. Wu, they, they roll, you know, little wheels. It's just really very, very cute. Even the little detail of having these here, right? I'm going to show you what these are for. Now, also, you can take... Okay, so this little vehicle does a couple of things. So you can... Um, put one of the guns on the back of this as well. And the Optimus Prime setup came with four of these red missiles. So I didn't lose any of those. Actually, let me get this in there. Ah, there we go. Okay, there. So you can have it like that. But let me show you what this does. So. Move this aside, and this is spring-loaded, so you push this back here. All right, let me shift around here. All right, and spring-loaded. And then you push this down, and the car shoots out. So you can push that back, and then that can roll down, okay? So what always, though, uh, I always wondered, why didn't they give you a little people to go in there? And even on this, this opens up. So you could put a little person in there. So maybe if you have little people, you know, Zoids or... Uh, some other, you know, little uh, tiny space people or something from something else. You could put those in there. Um, all right. And this also has a refueling. So um, I think this is more for refueling. So if you have to refuel Optimus Prime, refueling nozzle. And I think that, yeah, that can fit on there. Maybe it can be a laser, too. There might have been a hose that came with this. Um, I can't really remember that. But you can see that even after all these years, nearly 40 years, stickers are in good shape, too. So this folds down. All of that folds down. And you can... Fold everything in nicely and put your vehicle in there. And like I said, I had an extra. I don't know where this came from. I think I just found it in a secondhand store and just, you know, decided to buy that. In case I lost the other one. So then you can just close up shop. Close everything in there if you want, and then it could just be a regular trailer. 
and close that up and then these back put the front on here optimus prime there you go and i'm going to transform the dr wu optimus prime so let me do that Okay, so we'll take these off. Actually, is a little bit more complicated to transform. So this uh, has to push in. Yeah, the whole thing has to turn around. This is different. So the whole thing has to turn around. Then these push in. So this is all a little bit more complex. Okay, then these go down, and then here's the front wheels. They flip down. You see that? How they're nestled up in there, and then they flip down. Head goes back. It's a nice, soft, chewy, high-quality plastic, um, and the the uh, metal. Uh, rivets like for the wheels are nice too. Yeah, just really well thought out. Now I have a couple of other Dr. Wu transformers, miniature versions. I have one that's in a, mini a miniature version of Trypticon, which you may have seen in an earlier episode, but you may have not because it's quite a while ago. And the other one that I have, which I haven't shown, is a miniature version of um, Fortress Maximus. And it is, I have the big two foot Fortress Maximus that came out several years ago. Not the original, not the old, old one, but the, the, the big reissue that they're, they're talking about how like a big bad toy store, how they have it in stock again, or will, and you can order it again. Well, I got it the first time around. And um, and Dr. Wu made a miniature version that's this big that is more complex and better and does more things. It's fantastic. Um, all right, so then you can take all of these, and actually you can stick these in sideways so you can buckle them down. And then you can just take your little your vehicle, everything in here, and then just, well, you gotta close that up. Okay, and then look, even the doors, they kind of fit together, they, but they don't lock together, so I think I have something kind of in the way. Yeah, there, let me get that. Well, that's the only thing, there's so much stuff. There we go, okay. So they don't lock together, but they do, you can kind of get them to fit. There's a little tab, but the tab doesn't have any tension. So you have to be careful because things could fall out the bottom. But you see this, and this spins, and that attaches to your tractor, and it attaches right there. So there you go, your Dr. Wu Optimus Prime with trailer. And I thought you might like to see this. This is a Minicon from years ago, I would think somewhere close to 20 years ago. Um, and it's pretty neat. It's similar in construction to the Dr. Wu. You see the metal rivets for the wheels? And it seems like for a Minicon, it's rather high quality. You have, um, these are, it's a fire truck, which Optimus Prime is, you know, sometimes a fire truck, but I think when it's in robot mode, they would be like, you know, lasers. So you can see his little head there, okay? And this is his attachment as a Minicon to give power. And then this folds up like this into the fire truck. It's actually a really quick transformation, which is nice. And then there you go, a little Minicon fire truck. That is, you know, the same kind of quality, I think, as the Dr. Wu 
truck. Not, you know, a little bit less, but, but, but the, very similar. All right, and there you go. I think this is just a really fantastic little set. Um, it's on Big Bad Toy Store. It is, uh, it's definitely, it's discounted like half price right now. I think it's somewhere around 20. Can't remember now, but I think it was. Um, so I, I think it's well worth it. Um, I had no idea it was going to be this small. As usual with Dr. Wu's things, they're always smaller than I can imagine. Uh, but I'm always pleasantly uh, surprised because the quality is just great. And if you don't have a lot of space and you want something that's just as nice as, you know, pretty much as this in certain ways, um, I think it, it really does achieve that. All right, and I will talk to you later, and take care.